Why would a teacher be interested in Figma? I'm a former seventh grade science teacher, and I'm pretty convinced that Figma can enhance and literally transform the classroom. And I wanna give you some reasons why. But first, what is Figma? Figma is basically a graphics editor and a prototyping tool, and it runs in the browser and it's really handy for collaboration. People from all over can use it. You don't need to download apps or software to use it. And designers from big industries like Spotify, Airbnb, Zoom, Dropbox, these places use Figma to design their interfaces for apps and websites and whatever their product experiences are. So what does that have to do with classroom teaching? Why would a teacher want to use this? I want to give you five reasons why. And the first reason is that I believe teachers are designers and they're designing something that's extremely important. And that's the learning experiences of students. So why not connect teachers with the best design tool that's out there? I think it's super important that teachers are equipped, that they have the best tools that are out there to help them create those experiences. The second reason teachers should consider Figma is because of it being accessible. It's extremely accessible. Again, it's browser-based and it's free for educators and students. So students can even use Figma on a Chromebook. They don't need to download, again, apps to make it work, which is super handy. And again, free means definitely affordable. The third reason, and one of my favorites, is that there are templates. There's a community feature where you can post your files and share them with other people. So as a teacher, if I'm collaborating with other teachers or if I wanna search up or look up, okay, how are other instructors facilitating their virtual classroom using Figma? I can go to the community feature and use some of the templates that are there, template files. I really like this feature because I know some people don't like the blank canvas, and so if you want a place to start, go to the community feature on Figma. I'm gonna be posting some things there, so make sure to subscribe here and then check out my files as well so that you can stay updated with templates you can use. A fourth reason, with Figma, you can truly customize the learning experience for students. So the constraints that you had with say, uh, the Google Suite, so Google Slides or PowerPoint, or the constraints that you had with some of the programs like Nearpod or Pear Deck, things that we use to make things interactive as teachers, those constraints go away. Again, this is a tool that's used by designers all across the industry. It's very powerful, yet, it has simple features to it. And so you can create all sorts of things for your students. Those normal constraints are gone. Some examples could be a live collaborative workspace where you make it and tailor it to exactly how you want it to look and how you want it to feel. You can make your workspace and experience visually appealing and also unpredictable. So some students start to get used to seeing a lot of similar things that teachers make on Google Slides, for example. But with Figma, you have this design tool that you could leverage to make things very unique. And when things are a little unpredictable, students become intrigued and engaged. You can practically build entire worlds inside a Canvas for Figma. You can create virtual stacked classrooms that I know are popular right now in Google Slides. You could create games, escape rooms, choose your own adventure style, learning pathways. There are so many activities that you can create in Figma. And what's exciting right now for me is that we're kind of scratching the surface on what can be done for the classroom. Due to the COVID-19 closures, a lot of people obviously were forced to think outside the box. And some people have already been using Figma for facilitating classroom instruction. I'm personally really excited about what can happen through K through 12 um, areas and the classrooms in those areas, what can teachers do? I feel like if you give a innovative tool to a teacher and then times that by hundreds or thousands or more, think about all the different possibilities that teachers are gonna come up with. Fifth reason, I'll just touch on it briefly, is the power of prototyping. And maybe if you don't have a design background, you might not be sure what prototyping is and what I mean by the prototyping power, let's just say that things can become clickable and interactive. It's not quite like the working app or the working website, but there are a lot of clickable things that you could facilitate with students to 
help them think through what they're learning and be engaged. One more bonus reason really quick is, I'm super excited for this, is redesigning the apps that students use. So let's say a popular app that they use, you can rebuild it in Figma or odds are there's probably a template out there that you can borrow from somebody else and you can give them the very tool that real designers in the industry use. You can give them that tool and ask them to iterate and make changes and to go through the design thinking process. And I'm sure there are a lot of creative ways where you can connect that to your content, where that facilitates your learning objective and helps them reach the outcome. So how do you get started? I'm going to be posting several videos to help teachers get started in using Figma, especially if you don't have a design background or you're not quite sure what it is. Also, if you look in the description below, I'm going to post a link to a great video that Figma actually posted that explains all the details on what you need to get started in the classroom. I am going to take that video and break it down into smaller digestible chunks as well. So make sure again to subscribe so that you can see those when they come up. I'm also gonna be giving examples for how teachers from all levels, K through 12 or university and all subjects. So math, science, English, language, all sorts of disciplines, how you can use this for your classroom. So of course, traditionally we're thinking of Figma as a design education tool, but really I think that this design tool can be used by teachers of all subjects. If you're interested in more ed tech or user experience insights, definitely check the description for a link to my newsletter and also my podcast, UX of ed tech. Remember as a teacher, you're a designer a designer of learning experiences. So why not use one of the best design tools that's out there? Let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you soon.